Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me here once again in Transport Fever 2, overlooking the mighty metropolis of Bristol, here on my Bristol map. Again, a reminder, if you're relatively new to the series, is this map was created by a modder who goes by the name Specialist Zero, uh, and you can find a link to this map in the description below, or you could just search the Steam Workshop and look for Bristol Extra, I think was the name of the map. Uh, and I'm also using lots of mods for the vehicles, for the buildings, for the stations, for all sorts of stuff. Uh, and once again, the links to those are in the description below. Well, not each individual one, because there's about 300 I currently have running in the, on, this, on this map in this game. Uh, but they are all in a, a Steam collection. Yeah, over there on, um, on Steam, strangely enough. Yeah, and there's a link to that collection in the description below. Anyway, have you been playing a game like, like this and it's sort of running away all sorts of things are going on you set it up but there's so much to do you kind of lose track of the edges of it you focus in on one particular aspect of the build of, of the development of the map and so on uh, all the time you're doing that something is going wild in some other corner of the map well that's constantly happening in this map as you may know if you've been watching the series so far and what I, I had a plan today, and, but looking around it, I thought, well, actually, the plan is a bit more than that. Perhaps we should take it a little bit more seriously and try and approach it in a more methodical way. Now, as you can see, why I've started on this, why I've started on this particular view is, yeah, there's lots of very large yellow people and lots of uh, industrial stations with very large symbols on them as well, which means there's a lot of station overcrowding going on. So this is part of the thing I was going to deal with anyway, but I thought, let's see if we can do it properly and investigate a couple of new routes or improvements to routes which might help us deal with that. So let me get the rest of my preferred icons back on. Uh, otherwise, it will confuse me when I can't see something I'm looking for. Now, what I was looking at was the congestion on the stations. And there is a very handy little list in the game, which is down here in the bottom right. It's called the Station Statistics. And I've already sorted it. Just click on the Overload column here. And it tells you which stations are very poor in terms of overload, which means there's too many people or too much cargo there, and some of it will go to waste, or some of those passengers will just walk off and not give you any money for a train ticket or a bus ticket or whatever. So I thought we could look at some of these and address these issues here. So as you can see, it's not just passengers, but also cargo, which I'm having a problem with. Yeah, one of these was, which I've kind of dealt with, was down here at Portbury Dock. We did have a little shuttle train, this, this train here, uh, which goes between Portbury Dock and Avonmouth Dock. And it just shuttles the materials between the two so that both sides of the, the Avon estuary here can be serviced and goods can get across in both directions. It was too small a train and I had it coming in on this smaller platform here and that was overloading. So what I've done, very simple thing obviously, is uh, moved, the, <laughs> moved the trains so that the lines, uh, if I just search for it here, uh, let's drag it up, yeah, so the, the, the lines both lines, the incoming from Clevedon, which we saw in that big list of station stats, and this line coming in just across the water from Avonmouth Dock, uh, they both use the larger platform. Um, and that means the congestion has gone down, so it's not overflowing there now. I also actually upgraded the, the train as well. I put a lovely... Is this a, one of those peaks? Are they called? Uh, it's a Class 45. Uh, I think I think they're named after after the peaks. I can't remember. As as you know, I'm not a, a train or rail expert by any stretch of the imagination. So that's been improved. I put a larger consist on there. Now, one of the things I noticed, we will get back onto the congestion issue in a moment, is that one of my lines, which is not making money, is this line here taking crude oil from the docks into the refinery here to feed the fuel which goes into this side of Bristol. Uh, most of the crude oil for that is coming from the other side of the water here in Wales, from these two oil wells and a crude oil refinery here, across the water to Avonside and then up there. We're not quite getting enough oil coming in to sustain that train. 
and it's just not quite good enough. So I was thinking I need more oil coming in and uh, a reasonably convenient location as well. I could, of course, put another oil well down somewhere. I do have the, the sort of sandbox mode enabled, so I can build, establish new industries and indeed new towns, as you saw me do by mistake a few episodes ago. <laughs> yes, that was embarrassing. Anyway, yes, yeah, so we've got an oil well here, actually, which is already on the map. I didn't place it there, honest gov. And I thought, how can we get that into Avonmouth Dock here for that train to take up? Also, addressing the issue we've got here with the Clevedon Forest uh, and the Clevedon Station here overflowing with goods. Now, I was thinking, could have uh, trucks coming down. We've got quite good trucks now. We're at the end of 1997. We could have trucks coming in to ship it down here and then either ship it all the way across to the oil refinery here or just ship it up here. Uh, on, on that route there, uh, so which will be fine, I think. Uh, actually, is that train taking? I think that train is, or it is taking. Oh, that's interesting. Why is it not? Oh, it is taking the refined oil. Yes, sorry, it is. Yes, that's the refined oil, isn't it? It's taking, it's not taking crude. Mm. So I'm thinking we could take crude across from here because we do have a refinery which is being used for this one small well here. And I was thinking, could we? how could we do that? And what occurred to me was, we could use this line here, we could put a train on here, rather than truck, and have it sent all the way directly across to the dock here. Which means actually putting this train back on that smaller platform. So we're going to have to redesign this platform slightly and this is going to impact on the bridge here as well. Yeah, it could be fun. Do we actually have a spare platform here, actually, looking at this? We do. Platform 3. Where the heck is 3? So you're there. Right. We could do that. Yeah, that does... Oh, it's a double... Mm. Actually, the oil won't stay there very long, so that could still work. So what we want to do is get this train in and running. So it gets there, so I can now start uh, redeveloping this station. Actually, there's a couple of ways of doing this. I could either extend the platform out there. Could I do that to make it longer? It just needs to be one stretch longer, actually. Let's have a look at that. Can we do that? So if we go to the platforms, and it's going to be cargo platforms down here. Can't quite fit you on there. Well, I could. Ooh, mm, no. Do I have any. Do I want to get rid of that piece of town or do I want to try and relay this track? I'm going to see if I can relay this track. Okay, let's try that. Let us try that. That's good, and so we configure you. We'll put that platform on there. And the track, it's ordinary track. It's not catenary or anything. So we'll slip you in there. Actually, what? Mm, I honestly, I should know this because I did a whole series on modded stations, on the mod, on, sorry, on modular stations. If we don't have the track there alongside the platform, does it include that part of the platform in the cargo capacity? I have suspicion it won't, but I don't know for certain. Okay, anyway, can I get that track back to there? It doesn't, uh, it, uh, it doesn't like coming off there. Too much curvature. Yeah, I know it is quite curvy. Can I take... Oh, I can! Right, I can get you down from there. Will you actually... Oh, you will. You are very slow. I think I'm probably prepared to accept that. Let's see if we can actually get a bit faster. If I get rid of that uh, signal there, will I be able to go a little bit further up here? Oh, I can do that. And curve round. It doesn't want to do it like that. Don't need to curve in. 
Okay, uh, it does look very naff. Uh, there are certain there are certain players of the game, high construction gamer, uh, who are very particular about laying track, and the track must actually conform to acceptable standards, and it must be flat, and you can't have track cross. Can, can I not get that connected? There, okay, you're connected. So can I... Why? Oh, it does, it does. It's just me not getting the, the snap point. Oh, that does look really awful, doesn't it? If I accept that... No, I, I'm afraid... Yeah, I'm not going to accept that either. No, that that is just too appalling. I mean, it will work, obviously, but... Not in any realistic sense, so I can't... Oh, it's taking it all the way now. Okay, can I get you up here? You're the fastest that's going to be, and I think the most sensible track arrangement. It's a nasty slope, and I'm sure a real engineer would not build on that. So uh, We probably want to put that signal back in here somewhere. It's one way, yeah. That's good. Uh, oh, I need to... Oh, we need to get across, actually. Yeah, we need to cross over to the other track. I'm still not done there. What I wanted to do, actually, is not do that, but actually cut across. Well, it will do, but can I put a double slip on there? Not sure. Let's find out. I can. Awesome. Okay. So it can come down here, because we travel on the left, of course, being in, in the UK. Uh, so it can go off there. That is a nasty bend. And it can cut across onto the other side to come back. Okay. Right. Uh, do we want a signal there? We're only going to have one train on this inter-dock route, so I think having a signal here will be okay. Although we're, I think, going to have another train going all the way through. That's kind of what I'm planning. Did I? Oh, it's auto-saving. The, the signal will appear in a moment. Bear with. There is auto-saving has cleared, and the signal has appeared. I'm going to be cautious about smoothing this because there's a risk. There are places around here where you go below sea level and it gets very unsightly indeed and it's quite a mess to to restore. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to put yeah, a train station here. I'm not quite sure why it's got two bits of road there. We certainly don't need any of this or that. Okay, and we're going to put in a new cargo station. Uh, for well, how many how many station types have I got now? <laughs> I, I yeah, I've been really collecting some mods, uh, and uh, I should use some of them. Uh, let's turn you around there. Uh, we'll make you 160. That should be sufficient, I think. On here. The thing is, I want you to be more pa more parallel. Is that an appropriate? I think that's appropriate grammar to the track than to the industry so if i place you yeah like that that's cool you're lined up and i've got the wrong track i've got catenary i don't want catenary on there okay we'll configure you we will put that is slow or oh, a slow track in there now, i think we will use fast track to be honest on here and what i can do then don't do that I can come here, I can use the tool to upgrade, take that off, and change it to high speed. Okay, and then I can go back to configure this and put just high speed in here. That looks good. And then we just need to connect that up to the Clevedon line. And it's not going to be that, it's going to be that, it's going to be high speed. Can I bring this in here like so? Probably looks all right. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> okay, 
you can come in here. That's looking good. Splendid. Actually, why did I put two tracks on them? We don't really need two, do we? Or we might have something coming in from the other direction. Maybe going out. Uh, future proofing. That's what I'll call it. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, do we? Uh, we've only got one platform on here at the moment, so we just need you to go out like that. Well, that's cool. And some signals. Uh, these will be one way. That way, that's good. Now, yeah, that's that's fine. So we're, by having these signals here further away from the junction, from the switch, then this line, which is the Clevedon line, should take precedence, which I think is what we want it to do. That's good. Okay, now do we want signals here? We probably will. Yep, that's okay. Actually, if we put a signal there just to clear the junction. All right, so we have you there. And I think what we will do is we'll have... I've, hopefully, I can get this to come across here to Avonmouth. Uh, we do have a spare terminal here, which is three. We'll see how this works. We will see how this works indeed. Right, so a new line. That's that. It's going to be going from there to there. We've gone on platform two. I'd rather you didn't do that, and I'd rather you were a discernible grey colour. Can I change you to three? I can. That's good. Yep. That's fine. I think that's fine. And you're going through there, which is... Mm. Oh, I need to train, change that uh, dockside shuttle to the other platform, don't I? Okay, let's give this a name. We'll call it Clevedon Crude Bulk, because that's what the train will be carrying. And while I'm here, don't forget to change that to... No, I want to be on the station, to terminals, and you need to go back to three. Why not? Why can you not do that? Oh, because the trains... Uh, oh, okay, that's the, it's the train that's complaining about, isn't it? Yep, it's the train, not, not the route. Okay, so if we just... Oh, there you are, you're going now. Good, good, yep, that's you sorted. Yeah, unfortunately, those 14 tools uh, actually came from Avonside. Avonmouth, rather. Uh, some funky new buses. Ooh, new trains. And new planes. Ooh, right. Right, we need a train. Yet yeah, we can get a train from here. So what do we want on that line? Let's have a look. We're going to use diesel. Uh, we want reasonably fast and powerful. Actually, what do we have on the Clevedon Forest line? That's you, isn't it? So you're going 75 miles an hour. Okay. Could do the same sort of thing. Actually, this these trains are quite good that we got on the Bristol shut on the dockside shuttle. They're quite good. Could use you. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll buy a vehicle, and you were, which one were you? <laughs> uh, was it, I've forgotten what it was, was it a 42? No, it wasn't a 42. Uh, it was up here, it was up here, uh, it was a 45, oh it's one of the, yes, not necessarily a peak. Oh that's right, I didn't, I chose uh, one of the variants here. That's good, they're 75, they're reasonably powerful. I'm just wondering if you might be... Oh, you're very powerful. You go 80 as well. And we don't necessarily need that for this route. So, yeah, I think let's let's stay with this. Uh, should we use Penigent? Actually, sounds a bit Welsh. 
We won't use that over this side of the water. We'll use the scaffold pike, which I've probably used elsewhere, but you know, uh, and we're going to be carrying oil. So we will take, uh, it's going to be crude oil, isn't it? So what have we got? That goes at about 75. You carry 15, you carry 18. You're looking good. And you could be, we'll use the yellow, I think. How many can we put on here? You do look very big compared to <laughs> the other one, don't you? To the, to the locomotive, but mm, okay, that that's that's the way of it, I suppose. Okay, I think you should be okay. We'll see how that that deals with the with the route. Uh, well, can I put you on uh, the Clevedon crude bulk? There you go. It's a bit built up, this, isn't it? <laughs> this part of the dockside area. Yeah, those tankers do look very large compared to the locomotive. But there you are. Okay, that's that. But we still need to deal with the Clevedon part of this uh, of this map. The, the Clevedon freight. So we've got wood stacked up here. So what... Shall want the route, not the, not the station. There you go. Oh, you're using the oh the lovely old Bedfords, right? But I've a feeling you are kind of past your prime now, aren't you? You carry eighteen, and you go forty-three. Okay, where are you going? Are you going? What's what's? Oh, I see. Where's the... Uh, this, 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 this was a complicated route, obviously. <laughs> which I... And, and you're doing that. And you're doing the tool delivery. Oh, the wood must be going... Where's the, where's the wood going? Then. It's going to Portbury Dock. Ah, right. Yes, yeah, so it's going across here. To <laughs> these, these cargo routes do get kind of bizarre so we, st we still need to, to get all this freight out of here but it'd be nice if I upgraded these trucks actually so can we do that so we're getting cargo and we're carrying basically logs there we go so what can we ah you're 30 I quite like you the 42 just strikes me as being a little bit over the top but 30, I'm quite happy with, I think. I, I'm, yeah, I think we'll go with these. Do we need all of them replaced, though? We'll sell one of you. And there's six vehicles. Let's try it, shall we? Okay, there you are. Done. There you are, your lovely looking vehicle. Sounds good too. And you fill up very nicely with logs. Excellent. All right. Uh, and this one here. I think we need a similar thing going on here. So, the Clevedon tool delivery. You, oh, you've, you've, you've got only a few. All right. And you do... You do carry most everything, don't you? You trucks. Yeah. Uh, you're the Bedford. Now, do we have trucks that can replace you? Which carry... Uh, you're carrying... Yeah, wood, logs, and also tools. Now, the stake van doesn't do that. Nor does the man. Screw fix. These guys do. We could use you. You carry 30 in two compartments. So you could carry both. That might be handy. You're a little bit kind of wrong for this type of cargo, I think. Being a container lorry. 
Uh, you carry 14, don't want 14. I quite like you, to be honest. <laughs> the Van der Werf. Okay, let's try you. But don't think you guys are colourable as such. No, you're not. And you are again curtain wagons. You're picking up the tools. I think we could do with a couple more of you on this route. So we'll clone you. There you go. Uh, Clevedon Wood. You're looking okay, actually. I think. Yeah, I'm going to leave you as is, I reckon. You're probably coming down. Right, now the trains, though, here. What are we going to do with you? What trains do we have on freight bulk? You are fairly old trains now. 18 years old. You are class 37, which is a lovely locomotive, but it's not the most powerful beastie in the world. Yeah, I we could replace you, I think. And your performance is... Uh, does it tell me what the performance is? I'm sure it does somewhere. Power rating, mediocre. Yeah, oh, you are, yes, you are quite slow. We need to enhance you. Make you bigger and better, I think. So let's replace you. And will you do... I think we could probably go beyond you. You're more powerful than... Now, the, all the 80... Uh, sorry, the 58... You could be good. Although the 56 is a little less powerful. So it's a little bit cheaper. But you might be alright actually. Here. Okay, let's try a 56. And we use... I think I'm using the Naffy wagon here. Yeah. Oh, actually, it should only go 75. That's okay. I mean, it's a little bit cheaty. But it works. Ah, though the slight issue with this is when we replace it I think it doesn't keep all the cargo on the train but okay we'll worry about it. yeah we're, we're only going to lose a little bit I think <laughs> so, so we've got uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine okay let's try that Oh, it's kept two lots of cargo on there. It's losing the oil. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Let's see what you look like. There you go. Hopefully that will clean up some of that overloading. Oh, we've got loads of oil waiting there already. Where's our oil train? That's not you. Where's the oil train? <laughs> Where's my oil train? Where the heck are you? Don't say you've got stuck in the station somewhere. Oh, there you are. You've only just got out. Yeah, uh, it's probably mm, yeah stuck behind signals. We haven't actually been going that long. It's only in February 1998 now, so... Okay, you will pick that up. Hopefully that will improve situation. And that should add oil to be taken from here. Yeah on that Pilning route up to the refinery there, which should help it. I think, I think that works. I think that works. Now, there is another little congestion thing I want to address before getting onto something quite big and bold, which I think should work. But then again, I, this game does make some very interesting <laughs> logistical choices. Anyway, while I was looking at the congestion at my stations report here, the station stats, I noticed cam construction was reporting very poor results, which is this one up here. We haven't been up here for a little while, which is the construction materials plant. 
but obviously really that's what it's that's, that's what it is <laughs> uh, delivering into some parts of uh, Bristol here North Bristol and that I think is about it the trains just take it down to this hub here uh, for distrib distribution elsewhere but there's also a demand for bricks for construction materials here in CAM so I thought I could actually I suppose take truck some route truck some bricks out from here into cam which will help that grow which should bring more passengers to this part of the world which might be useful uh, that i can i might live to regret that <laughs> choice anyway right now auto saves finished let's get on with doing that shall we so we're going to build a little construction of a station for uh delivering combat or collecting and then shipping do we have an in interesting new Ooh, your truck gas station. Yeah, not really. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, you guys all look really cool. But I don't think you can adjust the capacity of these. These ones we can. I'm not sure I like you particularly, though. That's the trouble. Um, oh, this one's got lots of choices. No, don't, still don't like you. Okay, we'll use this one. This is truck station. Use the modular one. And we could, I suppose, leave two platforms in there. Yeah, I think we will. I think we will. So if I connect you to there. Ooh, now the question is, will you connect to... Mm, to that train station. Actually, will you connect to both those plants? So I'm not seeing the other one light up, am I? So do we need to put some street in here? This is Country Road. Uh, it's a very short bit of road. Was it you? It is you. Good. Uh, I'm wondering, if I run you... No, you're too close. Along here like so and perhaps also yeah you connect there and then oop, not quite along here okay it's a bit of a dip but I'm going to pretend that that's perfectly natural okay and along there Okay, now if I put that truck stop in, it still only highlights that one. Whereas, yeah, it does. looks like it needs to be connected to the road. Ooh, that road. Ooh, that road there will do. That will do just fine. Yes. So I don't particularly want a sort of separate road in between the industry site and the truck stop itself. So we'll put you there. We'll need to configure you. Uh, first off, we'll get rid of that. And we'll make some of these. Um, do I want to... Yeah, we'll get rid of all of this. And I want that crane. I love the cranes. There you go. There you go. And you. And you. And you. There you go. And... Do we have aggregate cargo platform? No, you don't really work for bricks, do you? Coal? No. I, I th just a warehouse then, perhaps, or just an, an open platform? No, we'll leave it like that. We, I'm sure we do not need them to be this long. To be fair, but I've done that now. Uh, so in and out that will do nicely if we could where are we go we're going to cam now yeah, that'll be fine that'll be fine we'll put you there let's get a street it's gonna be this lovely country road 40 no you're not going 40 at least 60 yeah you'll do fine bend a little bit. So where are we going into camp? We're going down here. Something like that. Probably best to check where the industry is. Uh, where's my cargo layer? 
Oh, it's right at the... Oh, that's on the right side of town. Result. Okay, so we just need to connect you in there. Well, that looks... So oh, actually, I want to keep... That. All of it? Might as well. I can't imagine the town will build all the way out here, but it will probably want to upset me by turning this into 30 mile an hour town road. We ain't having that, buddy. Right, so, a stop. Where are we going to take uh, 24 or 12 metre? We'll take 12 metre. Oh, do I have any bus routes in here? I have one going there. Uh, which is the cam circle. So I'll leave you in view so I, I can see where my traffic is. So hopefully my new trucks won't interfere with that too much. Um, I, you could come, yeah, if you could come down here. Or do I want you... Actually, if I put you there, that works best, doesn't it, really? Have you here? Or there. Yeah, we'll put you here, I think. It's a bit more industrial than everything else. I will put you on both sides just to show willing. Okay, that looks good. Yep, that is splendid. So we need a new line. Uh, that's the wrong choice. A new line. It's going to take bricks from here. From Cam, we'll call that something different to there. The drive, we may well call that something different again. It'll be a lovely pale orange colour. Okay, that'll do. Uh, which, no, I want you to take the other platform so you go that way so you don't really interfere with my bus route. That should be good. What should we call you? Cam Local Bricks. That sounds good to me. Do we have... Oh, we have a bus depot there. Or oh, a truck depot. A place to purchase things like vehicles for the road. And... 30. Could use you. Tarpaulin trucks. Oh, you could... I'm going to call it curtain truck. <laughs> Nonetheless. Uh, actually... Yeah... Uh, though we did, there is a drop-sided option, isn't there? 42. I think that's a bit many for, for here. I think you'll do nicely. You're a little bit on the pricey side. But... And what are you doing? Yeah, you're all much... You're the same, basically, aren't you? Uh, we might as well brand it. Uh, who's going to be delivering our bricks? The post office, B&M, Argos, or our old favourite, Eddie Stobart? I, uh, or we could have a, a French company. That post, Michelin, uh, Perrier, no, I'm not sure. A German company, UPS, post, DB Schenker. Now, they're a big name in cargo and freight, aren't they, I think? So we'll use you. Uh, four. Probably more than enough. So we'll, we'll go three. We'll go three. Okay, and we'll put you on to Cam Local Bricks. Sorted. And you'll be going there. Uh, I will tidy this up and make this look a little bit more industrial. Oh, it's a shuttle. They move. And, oh, that is so good, isn't it? Do they move along the track? They do. Oh, awesome. Awesome modding. <sighs> These modders are awesome people. They really are. Anyway, right, so that was a little extra thing. Now, what I'm planning to do, uh, I've been looking at Parkway here. Um, major North Bristol station and it, it gets well overcrowded actually this isn't too bad it's only the one line which is significantly overcrowded which is actually quite impressive it's not very well designed and particularly the roads around it are a bit <sighs> the word appalling springs to mind 
but I'm so terrified of breaking all this, putting it back together again. I just don't, I don't like sort of destroying things. That's that's the problem I have with some of these games like this. But what I was thinking of doing was we have got a lot of traffic congestion of people travelling awfully long distances. And I'm thinking one way of doing that might be to create another simple long distance route which people might be taking. And I was thinking connecting Parkway directly to a London bound line. Now we obviously don't have London on this map but this is kind of what the Bath and Bristol main line does. It sort of simulates that part of the Bristol to London Paddington route. But there are trains going to London Way from pa uh, Bristol Parkway. And I was thinking what I might do is plug them into Chippenham. It's madness, I hear you say. You're absolutely... Oh, look at the terrain there. But let's see if we can do that. But you know what, actually? This episode would get very long if I did that now. So I'm going to see, save that for the next episode of Transport Fever 2. So what we'll do, uh, we'll get the game carrying on running and we'll see if my new routes have improved any of the situations down here. Like, uh, oh, that's not overcrowded anymore. And you are still making loads of money. And oh, we've got that other train, haven't we? The Clevedon Crude Bulk. Where are you? Can we find that train? He's headed to Tickenham. Oh, he's picking up his first shipment. So what we'll do, I will say thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of Transport Fever 2. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Even better, though, if you've got anything to say, suggestions, recommendations, hints or tips, criticisms even of what I'm doing with the game, or anything you feel like saying about Transport Fever 2 at all, it would be awesome to hear from you. Just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be lovely. Uh, and, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, I'll leave you with a little bit of a train ride on our new crude oil route from Tickenham all the way to Avonmouth Dock. And I'll see you again in the next episode. But from me, Ajax Post, until then, bye-bye for now.